So, I bet you use your smartphone a lot, you little smarty pants, phony pants, smarty phony pants. Anyway, I also bet you have your phone all customized with all the apps and such. Seems like you have your little device totally under control, right? Think again. I'm Courtney from New Media Rights, and I'm going to tell you just how little control you have over your phone. A bunch of companies arbitrarily limit all sorts of things that you can do with your phone. Your internet service provider could arbitrarily slow down or cut off your wireless internet. This is called throttling. Google and Apple take down perfectly safe, perfectly legal apps from their app stores. Why would they want to do this? Who else is messing with your phone that you might not be aware of? Well, first of all, the company that made your phone's operating system has control over what you can or can't see on your phone. For example, Apple has to approve every single iPhone app before it's available to users, and sometimes it uses that power to disapprove of apps for no good reason at all. On one level, this can be a positive, because it can protect you from downloading an app that contains a virus or destroys your phone. Then again, all this power leads to apps being rejected for questionable reasons, which hurts both consumers who want to download the app and developers who've spent all sorts of resources trying to create an app. To take an example, Google removed an app for a terms of service violation, but then Google wouldn't tell the developer what that violation was, so they couldn't fix the problem even if they wanted to. To make matters stranger, Apple, Google, and Microsoft can remove apps from your phone remotely. This can be helpful if they find out that an app is somehow malicious, but it's also a little worrying considering it's already been downloaded to your phone. It's kind of like we already own it, you know? The second limiting force in your phone is your phone's manufacturer and your wireless carrier. When either of these companies get involved in setting limits on your phone, it's rarely a good thing. They can block updates to your phone's operating system, even if that update is there to fix problems. One time, Windows phones had a glitch that made on-screen keyboards disappear when you tried to type. Microsoft fixed that update, but none of the users could download it until the wireless carriers allowed them to. That's not very helpful. Another time, Verizon wouldn't allow Android users to download this app called Google Wallet. Verizon said they were doing this for security reasons, but the real reason people think Verizon did it was because Verizon was planning to create a similar app of their own. That means they may have blocked Google Wallet just to reduce their competition. Hmm, kind of sneaky. So yeah, there are a few different parties controlling how you use your phone. We can't control you, but we can ask you to kindly donate a little bit of money if you like these videos and want to see them continue. You can do so on our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org. Our next videos will talk about specific companies and specific examples of limits placed on your phones. And finally, other videos will talk about what you can do about it. See you in the next video. <laughs>